Well, hi everyone. This is Rohit Garg. I'm the founder and president of Practice by Numbers. And today we're going to cover how do you reactivate patients without a whole lot of pain of spreadsheets, printing out reports, paper notes. Um, let's go through patient reactivation and how Practice by Numbers can help you do patient reactivation. This is a dummy practice. Uh, here, let's go into the practice and we're going to look into what is the patient retention for this particular practice. So if I go into the patient flow, which all of you guys can go into your own uh, practices and take a look on what's going on, let's say this particular practice has a retention, 12-month retention of about 74%. So what does that mean? A quarter of the patients are going inactive every year, okay? So assuming it's year over year over year. Now, how do you keep these patients not go inactive? How do you keep these patients not go to a shiny new office that they saw next to the grocery store? Okay. Even though these patients haven't come to you for 18 months or longer, you make sure you call them. Okay. Keep yourself fresh in their minds. I know many of you send postcards, emails, but a call goes a long way. You don't have to call them every week. Call them every three months or so. Okay. Most practices do not implement a reactivation program because it's difficult. It's time consuming. And I'm going to show you how within practice by numbers, it's easy. All right. So everybody who has practice IQ gets revenue IQ for free. Okay. Go into patient reactivation under Revenue IQ, and let's say, let's search for all patients that haven't been here for over 18 months. And the bottom filter shows you, show, show you patients only the ones that you haven't contacted over three months, and I'll show you why that's important. So now I'm just gonna pick, no limit, I'm gonna say show me every single patient. Okay. It searched 902 entries in this particular case, right? Every practice should have a reactivation program. And it's difficult because you have to print out a list of patients, you have to make notes on their accounts, and then three months later, you have to do it again, and you just never know which patient you called when and what was discussed. And it's just very, very difficult to follow through. With our system, you don't have to make it into a quarterly exercise. You do it every day. We don't call 500 patients in a day. You call 20 patients every day from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., 5.30. Okay, the later you call, the better the chances are you will get to talk to them. I mean, obviously, don't call them over dinner, but anything after 3.34 has a higher chance of it being picked up. All right, so here we have a patient. So the way you call this is pick, uh, go into the patient file, and it'll give you the patient's name, it'll give you the, their home phone number, their work phone number, their cell phone number. And for people who also have the phone IQ, it will also give you the full call history for that patient. Okay, for this patient, it tells me every single incoming and outgoing call for this patient. All right. So you call this patient and you talk to them. And this patient did not schedule. And the reason they didn't schedule, let's say, it was too expensive, or they say your office uh, charges too much. Okay, let's just pick that. And they're gonna look for cheaper office. Okay. Uh, looking for uh, cheaper office. Okay. Well, maybe we don't want that patient anymore. All right, we're gonna hit save. I'm gonna go to the next patient. Let's say this particular patient you called, but they didn't pick up and you left a message. Perfect. Let's go to the next patient. Let's say this patient you did call, okay, and there was no answer. And go to the next patient. Let's assume this patient you scheduled. Go to the next patient. Let's assume this patient did not schedule and they only like to come in when they're free. In pain. That's what they said. I'd right, hit save. So now 
what's happened here is you have a last contact and date for all of these patients yesterday. I'm assuming that you make, you know, 15 to 30 to 40 calls a day. And you decide how many you're going to call, depending on how many patients you have in that pipeline and how many people are calling. The next time, let's say tomorrow, you come to this list, you're going to select this filter and you're going to leave it as default, and which will be three months. Okay. Next time you're on this list, well, guess what? The first few set of those patients are gone. They're not here anymore. And they won't be shown to you for another three months because you're saying don't show you any patients that you contacted in the last three months or so. And this makes patient reactivation very easy because you're not having to track whom you've called. You're not having to track, make notes in their chart notes and their journal logs and different places that people write notes. You come to this place and you call 10 to 20 patients every single day. Now, what's happening as these calls are being made? And first of all, of course, we track every single outgoing call if you have the phone IQ. But even if you don't have the phone IQ and you want to see how many calls were made, it's pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at that. At this point, uh, we have that under the practice IQ, but uh, in the next few weeks, you will see that the outcomes of all these calls will be listed right under Revenue IQ. But for now, let's go into Practice IQ, and I'm going to go into this particular practice. There are opportunities. And let's go into the outgoing opportunities. Okay. And I'm going to look at just today. Okay. We uh, touch five patients, and here's what we did. We said one of them left message, one was no answer, one scheduled, two did not schedule, and here was the reasons why they did not schedule. And the system is showing that one was completed as a schedule, but of course, we're looking for actuals as well because. Yes, we take their word that it was scheduled, but we also corroborate with an appointment in the practice management software. So the next time the software syncs, of course, this is the dummy practice, so that won't happen. But next time the software syncs, it will figure out, ah, there's, a new pa there's an old patient that didn't have an appointment before, but now after this call, there has been an appointment. Yeah, so you can keep your employees accountable. Different ways to implement this strategy is one person does recall, another person does treatment, and the third person does reactivation. But soon we'll also add, we have all the information, we'll add a table here that shows how many calls were made by each patient and what were the outcome of those calls. So you can see which ones of your employees are the most effective in making these calls and which ones need more training. Hopefully this video was useful. Uh, I urge every practice to implement a patient reactivation program with practice IQ revenue, uh, with practice by numbers revenue IQ. It's easy and you don't have to spend a whole lot of extra effort. You don't have to hire people. Just make it as part of your regular everyday task. 3.30 to 5.30, make anywhere from 10, 20, 30 calls. All right, thanks everyone, bye.